Hello, hello. Hope you're all having a great week, doing well. Um, I'm coming at you with my work clothes of the day. T-shirt, sweatpants, no makeup, dirty hair, thriving. Um, but I wanted to talk with you guys about some recent finished objects, some of my works in progress, and then some of my future knitting plans. Just a little update on what I'm working on right now and what I want to be working on. So in my last video, I had talked to you through some of my recent finished projects. Um, I guess not that recent, so I'm just like finished projects that I'd done. And I forgot to include this. This is a pillow I made really like a month or two ago. Um, it is a pattern from Your Inspirations, I believe. I will link it below, it's free. It was difficult. Um, it's the first time I'd ever knitted in Tarja, so like flat, changing colors like this. I've done stranded color work before, but I've never done in Tarja, so it was really challenging. <laughs> there are a lot of places where, I mean, it looks nice from far away, but close up there are just like some holes and stuff just from tension not being quite right. Um, changing back and forth between the colors, but honestly I'm really quite happy with it. It's also, it was also my first time doing duplicate stitch, so you intarja the white and the dark green and then you duplicate stitch the veining on the, the leaves. Um, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's also supposed to have a knitted back, but I really hate knitting flat and I it took me so long to knit. Like this is a really big pillow, I didn't realize it was going to be this big. It took me so long to knit the front that I just used some fabric that I had. It's a green flannel um, on the back. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's really squishy and soft. Um, I just used some like acrylic yarn I had hanging around. So this is just some white acrylic. This is some green. And then this is actually cashmere. Just like little bits that I had laying around from that sweater I showed you in my last video. Um, the Paloma sweater that I showed you in my last video. Um, yeah, so I finished that a little while ago, but I'm really proud of it. It was a lot of work and it was a good learning experience. Um, but yeah, very proud of it nonetheless, because it looks really cool. Um, my most recent finished object, which I just casted off like a few days ago, is my Korshavn sweater by Strika Kaffa. I think that's how you say it. She's a lovely Danish knitwear designer. It's so pretty and I'm obsessed with it. It's like a waffle or like a basket weave kind of knit. Oversized, super, it's like a winter knit definitely with a twisted rib on the top, folded over to make a nice um, soft squishy neckline, twisted rib cuff on the top and in the bottom. It's knitted bottom up um, and then you three needle, three needle bind off the shoulders do the, um, and then do the sleeves. You just pick up stitches around, it's a drop shoulder. So you don't do any sleeve decreases, it's just kind of a big square. And then you do the sleeves. Um, I blocked it and it turned out that the sleeves are a little bit long on me, so I'm gonna need to pull it back probably like this much to make it fit properly. Um, but that's okay, I'm really happy with it. It is a, I knitted it with a wool that I um, reclaimed, it was like a, it was a like Irish or Scottish Highland wool cardigan that I took apart um, and dyed with avocado pits. It turned out kind of pink. It's definitely not as like rosy of a color as I wanted to. It's kind of like a peachy pink, but it's actually really pretty and I'm really happy with it. And then I used um, one strand of mohair with it as well because it, the wool was pretty itchy. Um, so I used the mohair to kind of soften it up. It also calls for that in the pattern. Um, which is really nice. It gives it, it softens up the pattern a little bit and just gives it a nice soft fuzzy halo. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with this. I can't wait to wear it. It fits really well. It's a little bit oversized, but not too oversized where I feel like I'm drowning in it. Um, but yes, I'm very pleased with this. I like it a lot and I am excited to be able to wear it. So those are my most recent finished objects. And the reason that I don't have very many is because I have been working on so many things at the same time. I'm usually not a multiple whips person and I only became a multiple projects person like in the last couple of months, probably since I started watching knitting podcasts, honestly, and just like getting more excited about all the projects that I can do. 
um, because obviously if you just knit one thing at a time it goes a lot faster but still this I was knitting two or three other things at the same time and it probably only took me a month so very happy with it it's pretty quick as you go like I knitted these sleeves in like a two days probably each um so yeah that was very quick but I have so many whips because I was just getting excited about all the things that I can make. So my first whip that I've been working on for a little while now, but not super often, is this sock. It's called Petite Fleur by, I don't remember who the knitwear designer is, um, but it's really cute. It's got these little flowers on it and some stripes. Um, I haven't gotten very far. I started this probably like a month ago. Um, but I haven't gotten super far in it because I don't work on it very often. I keep it in my purse and I work on it with when I'm out and about because it's very portable. Um, but honestly, it's gone like really quite quickly. I did like this whole heel turn just in like two hours on Sunday when I was at church, just knitting in the back of Sunday school. Um, but yeah, it's gone pretty quick. It's very easy. I would say this is a good beginner sock pattern. Um, pleased with it and I think it'll be really nice when I'm done. It's made with reclaimed merino. Both of the white, the brown and the white are merino, um, which I think will hold up a little bit better than the alpaca that I used on my previous pair of socks, the I'm So Basic Socks by Summerlee Knits that I talked about in my last video. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about these little socks. Um, and then I just got excited about this idea that I had, which was I have three nieces and a nephew and I like to make them Christmas presents. I know it's July, but I got excited. I found this purple Cascade Yarns 220 um, at a Goodwill, two, two skeins of it um, for super, super, super cheap. And I had been wanting to make sweaters for my nieces that had their names on them, um, like in a contrasting color. And so I found this purple Cascade Yarn and I thought it would be perfect for my little niece Luna. So I started working on that and this is how far I've gotten, isn't it? Adorable, I'm so happy with it. This is the, sorry, I am trying to keep better track of all my projects and my Ravelry. Okay, so this is the good old raglan pattern by Twisted Knitwear. It's just a free kids raglan sweater pattern. Um, and in the original pattern it has stripes, but I didn't want to do stripes, I just wanted to do solid with the name. So for the charting, I found a website where you can just kind of like design your own chart. And so I made a chart with her name on it. And then I did it, this is not going to look so pretty and I'm not sure how I'm going to make it look nice in the, in the end. But I basically just did one strand across, like started a new strand, took it across and cut it because I didn't want the floats to go back and forth and like pull it super tightly together. So it's a little messy on the back. Um, at the front and the back, like the beginning and end of the word, but I will clean it up when I'm finished. Um, so this, I got this much done with just one ball of that Cascade 220. I have one more to do the sleeves and the rest of the body. Um, but I put it down because I, I did this in like three or four days. It was super fast. Um, but I put it down because it's not super urgent. I, I it doesn't need to be finished until December. Um, but I, and I just got excited. Um, but it's really cute. The raglan stitches are super cute, just very basic, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And I will probably finish this up actually in the next couple of weeks now that I finished that sweater. Um, and then my last whip, I just started today and got like six rows in. Um, Dana, if you're watching, please fast forward like a minute. Um, <laughs> okay. So this is going to be a baby blanket for my sweet friend Dana, who is having her third little baby. It's boy this time. I'm so excited for her. I made her a baby for her, a blanket for her last baby. So I felt like I should make one for him too. And I was thinking about making like a little outfit or something, but it just, you can't keep that as long and like they don't get to use it as long. And I think this is going to be her last kit. So I didn't want to make something that she would only be able to use for a couple of months and then have to get rid of. So I'm making him a little blanket. It is the Baby Blanket Lieppa pattern by Wool in Berlin. It's really pretty. It's very simple um, pattern, but I'm making it with the same blue naturally dyed cotton that I used for my Drop Swept Away sweater that I talked about in the last video. I just thought it was a really pretty light blue, which is, would be great for a little baby boy. So I just started that today and I have a month to make it because I'm going to Utah in the next couple of weeks and she lives there. So I need to give it to her when I'm there. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm working on right now. I'll probably be furiously working away on for the next 
little while. Okay, I have two other things that are kind of whips that have just been like sitting in the pile of shame. As I learned from Caroline Snitz, she calls it the pile of shame. Um, and I'm just not sure about them. So the first one is this sweater that I finished like months ago and it just turned out really bad. <laughs> like the pattern was really difficult to read and follow, not very well written. Like the designs that this pattern maker does are beautiful, but the pa I don't know if I would ever buy another pattern for her from her again, just because the pattern wasn't written in like a super comprehensible way. And so this is what it looks like. Um, it's pretty, but just the sleeves turned out so bad. They're super puffy. I'm not good at seaming. I don't enjoy it. And so the sleeves just turned out poorly and I don't, I don't love the way that it looks. So I'm trying to decide if I'm going to try and fix the sleeves. It's also just really heavy and thick and not how I wanted it to be. So I'm trying to decide if I'm going to fix the sleeves or turn it into a slipover, but I don't know if I really need another slipover because I have my holiday slipover in like a pretty similar color. Um, so I may just end up frogging it, but this is actually made one of the strands in this is the Highland wool that I used for this sweater, the Korshavn sweater. So you can kind of see the difference in color, picked up quite a lot of color actually from the avocados. Um, but yes, there's this, which I'm just not sure what to do with at this moment. It's been sitting for months and I have not worn it. And I just, I think I'm gonna frog it because I don't love it. And then this saga. So I decided that I wanted to, to develop my own pattern and I was feeling super inspired. Like I'm gonna design knitwear and it's gonna be great. And I'm super excited about it. So I wanted to make this like Henley kind of like button in the front with a polo collar sweater um and so i started it gosh probably like two months ago and have been slowly chipping it away at it ever since i kind of put it aside because i wanted to work on the drop sweater that i had just made and then this korshavn sweater and then i picked it back up again just this week and kind of made a good amount of progress on it i finished the front i finished the back and i started working on the sleeve and the finishes and then I was working on it yesterday kind of working on the collar and just put it on and realized that it's not doesn't fit the way that I want it to and I don't think it's going to fit the way I want it to even if I keep going so this is what I have so far it's in a three by one rib which I like the look of but it's not draping really the way that I wanted it to um so this is what it looks like I so I did it bottom up and based the arm increases and stuff off of a sweater that I already have um, that I like the fit of. So yeah, this is what I have so far. I just did the buttons um, yesterday and started working on the collar, but I didn't, I thought that the, the Henley was gonna start a lot lower than it actually does. Um, and so if you can kind of see, it's starting really high, like, gosh probably like two inches below my collarbone and I really wanted to start more like here um I mean I can put it on for you it, it doesn't look right the collar is really stiff I'm just like it's super high and it just doesn't I don't I just don't think it looks right I don't know you guys need to tell me so I'm feeling not great about it I just I don't I think it's too high and so because it's knit bottom up, in order for me to fix it, I would have to take this collar out that I've knitted, take these out, the buttons um, and the, but like, see, it's so high that like if I buttoned it, it would be at my throat. Um, yeah, I wanted it to sit more like this, like down here with a little bit more ease at the neck and it's just not sitting like that. So in order to fix it, I would have to take a bunch of it out. I would have to basically tear like half the sweater out. I mean, I guess I could leave the back, but I think the back also needs some help with short rows or something to make it fit a little bit more nicely. So in order to fix it, I would have to tear like all the way down to here and then re-knit these, like take this down lower, re-knit a bunch of pieces. And I think it would just be kind of a pain. So I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna try and fix it or if I'm going to frog the whole thing and start it again 
going top down because something else I was worried about was sewing the sleeves in because I'm like scarred from that previous sweater. It didn't go very well. And I picked up sleeves in the core shop and sweater and that was great. So I'm just not sure about that. I think I'm gonna end up frogging it. I'm sad because I put a lot of time into that, but I just think I'm gonna finish it and then be disappointed and then tear it out anyway. So yeah, I'm just gonna let that marinate in the pile of shame for a little while while I think about it. But if that's a pattern that you would be interested in like either test knitting for me or buying and making for yourself, let me know. If I know that people are interested in it, I might be more <laughs> inclined to make it, write it up and sell it than if I'm just doing it for myself. So let me know your thoughts on that. Um, okay, next is future plans. I ha don't have a whole lot of projects planned because I'm trying to focus on the blanket and this sweater for my niece. Um, but I do like to have something going for me as well. But I think I'm, I'm not going to let myself cast it on until at least one of these two projects is done. Actually, I have three at the socks too. I'm not super worried about finishing those soon though. Um, so some, I have this purple, it's like a lilac yarn that I bought a sweater of it and then unraveled it and got this yarn. Um, and it's really pretty color, but it's kind of scratchy. So recently there was a yarn store going out of business. And so I bought this mohair, which is like a kind of a gray color, but it can, le it leans pretty purple if you put it next to a purple. I mean, it looks pretty gray here, but I think it has like a cool kind of lilac -y undertone with it. So my plan is to pair these two together and make a sweater for myself. Um, and I think I'm going to do something with like either a brioche or a fisherman's rib or just something like a little different that I haven't done before. There are a couple that I'm eyeing. There is the Patenton sweater by Lona Kjeldsen um, that I've had on my Ravelry favorites for a really long time and been looking at. And then there's also the Rosalind sweater by Josephine and Carlotta Holzwimmer, which was really pretty. So maybe one of those. I'm just thinking like a simple rib would be really nice. Although I hate knitting rib and I just did that whole brown sweater in a rib, but that's what I'm envisioning in my brain. Um, and then I was watching Call the Midwife the other day. I am obsessed with that show. I just finished all the seasons that are on Netflix, but I was watching the Christmas special and one of just like a character in the show was wearing the most adorable little knitted beret. And I was like, I need a knitted beret. I need it. So I found some patterns. I think I'm going to do the Colette pattern by Julie Hayes, um, which is also free on Ravelry. And I think I'm just going to do it in black, but I'm very excited about that because I think it will be cute with my little short hair. You know, I'm feeling inspired. Um, and then I also need to make the same of this little sweater for my other niece, Millie and I need to make a sweater for my niece Harper, and I probably need to make something for my nephew Reese. So I don't have super far out plans beyond that, but that's what I'm thinking so far. So that was pretty short and sweet. I feel like just got that over with pretty quickly, but now you guys know what I finished, what I'm working on, and I'll show you finished in the next video or in a future video my pile of shame projects, please let me know what you think I should do. I don't know what to do with them. And I don't just want to leave them sitting forever. And then my future projects. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed sitting and chatting about knitting with you. And I hope that you're doing wonderfully and you have a wonderful day. And I think appreciate you watching. I hope you come back and I will see you in another video.